billions upon billions of dollars. Now, for lesser brands, that would have been the end of things. But this year, not only is the Galaxy Note back, it's back with a bold new design and promises of exceptional performance. I'm Steven Shank with Phone Arena. Look for my full review of the Galaxy Note 8 coming soon. But today, I'm getting you started with a quick unboxing. All right, as you can plainly see, this is much larger than the box you're gonna be taking the Galaxy Note 8 home in for yourself. Uh, this is Samsung's full review kit, it includes the phone and a few extras I thought I might share with you because these are accessories you might be thinking about picking up for yourself when going out to get the Galaxy Note 8. So let's dive right in. Uh, right, away, right away here, we can see some of the extras we got, but let's check out the Note 8 for itself first because that's what you came here to see. Uh, packaging looks a lot like we've seen from Samsung devices over the past few years now. Um, this sort of black box with the slide off top. Yeah, it's like we got with the Galaxy S8, uh, Galaxy Note 7 before it. So this is, you know, a lot of more of the same. Hey, Samsung likes what it's doing. Why change things up? The phone itself, though, is drastically different design wise. So let's. Make sure it doesn't fall out here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's keep the box back in here for now. Peel off these protective covers. The phone will never look this nice again. And man, I got to play with this black version of it at the launch event, and that was a fingerprint magnet. And already I can see I'm smudging this up. Uh, but we have the new dual rear cameras, both 12 megapixel, telephoto, and wide angle, both with optical stabilization. Fingerprint scanner is around back now. We no longer have it under the screen, just like the Galaxy S8. Uh, Samsung uses new 18.5 by 9 aspect display to take up nearly all the phone's face. As a result, the fingerprint scanner moves around back. Uh, let's see, we still do have a headphone jack, USB Type-C for charging, and of course, the S Pen. It's a note, after all, that's why you're picking this up. Uh, before I power this guy on, I'm going to give you a quick comparison here. Uh, I don't have my Note 7 anymore, just like you, I had to give it back, but I do still have the Note 5. Uh, as you can see, it's... See, Note 5 seems to be a little bit thicker here, but definitely this Note 8 is just a, it's such a tall device. It's so impressive. 6.3 inch screen, but the new aspect ratio allows Samsung to use that screen without making the device feel super, super wide in the hand. Seems to be a, close to the same thickness here. Um, but a big camera bump here, whereas it's nice and flush. Even with more camera hardware, it's a smoother profile on the Note 8 than it was on the Note 5. And just like super blast from the past. I know this isn't really irrelevant. Uh, comparison. First gen Galaxy Note actually held on to this guy. It's just super squat and wide and it looks like a phone that has nothing to do with this new one. In fact, you probably wouldn't even guess that these were of the same product line, but sure enough, S Pen tucked away there. S Pen's been super redesigned as well, but okay, let's go ahead and power this phone on and go ahead about seeing it getting set up here so we can take a quick look at the software before diving in to the rest of the hardware. Hey, Samsung. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy taken care of with its initial setup. Okay, here we have the Galaxy Note 8 finally set up and into Android here. Uh, swipe around, so we have the app drawer uh, getting access to at the bottom, just like on the Galaxy S8. Google Apps, Samsung Apps. During setup, you have the chance to install some additional apps here, but we went with the bare bones package just to give you uh, a quick look at what, what we feature here software-wise. Bixby, of course, just like on the Galaxy S8. And instead of just swiping over to the side, you can also access it with the dedicated hardware Bixby button. It has a slightly different intro. Ah, oh, hey Bixby, how you doing? Yeah, we're gonna play around with all the software on this phone a lot more as we do the full review. Just want to give you a quick overview here. Oh, you know what I have to show you? S Pen stuff. Yeah, create a note. Hi from Phone Arena. Uh, I mean, it sort of says that if you can read my horrible handwriting. Um, but let's check out the other hardware we have here because there's a lot more to look at. Uh, the Galaxy Note tends to come with a lot of stuff in the box. We already have the SIM install so we can get online. Let's see what's in here. Our SIM tool, AKA eject pin. It's a weird way to describe it. As well as some paperwork here, smart switch, yeah how to transfer stuff over from an existing phone to the Note 8 and quick start guide, all good stuff. Hardware you can use to uh, transfer stuff over with Smart Switch. We have a, a USB-C to USB mini adapter and this looks like yeah, USB-C to standard A. So plug this in with a charging cable. 
and uh, attached to an existing USB Type-C phone. You can get your files off it. Speaking of charging cable, Samsung's adaptive fast charger. Same design we've had for years now. And I don't love the uh, port on the side here, but that's the way Samsung does it. Up top of all sorts of cables and things in here. Let's see, we have our AKG earbuds, just like we got with the Galaxy S8. Uh, USB Type-C charging and data cable. Uh, alternate tips for the earbuds, two extra sizes in order to get a nice comfy fit on there. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta have our uh, S Pen stylus tool. Little tweezers on here to pull out the tip of the S Pen and replace it with and a couple alternate tips on there. So you have a nice smooth writing experience. You're not gonna scratch the screen or do anything dumb like that. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's it in here. Ah, more goodies. I mentioned Samsung included some goodies for us. We have a micro SD, oh nice, 256 gig micro SD card. So 64 gigabyte, gigabytes storage on the phone there. Uh, you can augment that with micro SD expansion. Using this card, you'll bump you up to 320 gigs? Yeah, uh, has a boatload of storage, plenty of space for recording video with those uh, dual 12 megapixel cameras. We're just storing lots of media, uh, downloads, whatever you want. Um, I think this is still one of the more expensive ones. I know you can get a, the 200 gigabyte one for less than 100 bucks now. I feel like this one's over. If you don't need those extra 56 gigs of storage, that might be the way to go. Also, we have Samsung's newest fast charger, wireless fast charger. Uh, Samsung Galaxy flagships have been supporting wireless charging for ages now. Uh, this is just the latest iteration here. You know, I was kind of worried when first seeing this. This has like a sloping cross section. The phone might slide off, but that, uh, this leathery texture seems to hold the phone. It's pretty grippy. And so, yeah, we slide this back and bend that up, and we have a nice little recline surface. You can charge this on your desk, see your notifications while they pop up. Compared to the old wireless fast charger, this thing is big. I have, yeah, I brought the old one along. Uh, the design, you can see, it's similar. This one doesn't have that sliding up action to it. Uh, it's also smaller. It's narrower. I do like it has this grippy rubber ring here, but like I said, I was worried about this being too slippy, but it really doesn't feel like it is actually putting the phone on it. You know, I didn't like last year, this had micro USB. When the phone is USB Type-C, it doesn't make sense to have micro USB, a separate cable needed for the charger. Thankfully, the new one is full-on USB Type-C all the way. Uh, is there anything else in here? I guess I have the uh, cable, the charging adapter, or the power adapter for the wireless charger itself. All right, uh, so this has been the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Uh, just a quick look at the phone, the hardware, some accessories you might want to pick up for it. Uh, for our full Galaxy Note 8 review, you're going to want to turn, tune back in real soon, though. For now, I'm Stephen Shank with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching, and definitely come back for that full review soon.